Hello all. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about uh, what is SAP and which Hello all. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about what are the different courses available in SAP and who should do which course. So let's begin with what is SAP. SAP is an enterprise resource planning software that stands for a systems application and products. It is the most widely used software in the world. It consists of different modules to manage different functions within the business, such as sales, logistics, finance, transport, um, uh, and so on. All of these modules are finally integrated with each other through a centralized system. Who can learn SAP? So anyone can literally learn SAP, but before learning SAP, you should understand uh, which course you should be specifically going for. So before you decide a course, keep in mind uh, your educational qualification, your industry experience, and check the job profiles you are applying for. So for example, if someone is from a technical background, education, uh, if, someone in, if someone has done a master's in computer science, then they should go for different type of courses. Or if someone is do has done a course on uh, supply chain management, then they should be going for a different type of course within SAP. Um, if you are coming from uh, a CA background, chartered accountant, uh, or if you have been working for five years in the banking industry, then the course you should be choosing within SAP should be, will be different as compared to someone else. So let's go ahead and see what are the different types of courses available within SAP. So the first, uh, for, for everyone to understand, I have divided uh, all courses in SAP into five different categories. Uh, one is logistics, human resources, sales and marketing, technical, and finance. Now let's see more in detail um, about these um, categories. So if if some if if any of if any of you is coming from a logistics background, then you should be aiming for a course such as SAP Material Management, SAP Production Planning, SAP Plant Maintenance, Sales and Distribution, Quality Management, Warehouse Management, Extended Warehouse Management, S4 HANA Logistics, S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, Transport Management, Advanced Planner and Optimizer or SAP Ariba. So these are the courses suitable for anyone coming from logistics industries, so such as if your experience is within the warehouse or if your experience is in a plant or oil and gas industry, uh, energy industry, um, mining. So if you are coming from any of these industries, then these, these are the courses displayed on the screen which are, which are suitable for you. So if someone is coming from finance industry, um, if you have been working in banks, if you have been working in investment banking or um, a chartered accountant firm or you're running your own accountancy services, then you should be aiming to learn um, the courses related to the uh, finance people uh, within SAP, such as SAP finance and controlling, SAP controlling, SAP Profitability Analysis, Business Planning and Consolidation, Treasury and Risk Management, S4 HANA Finance and S4 HANA TRM. So anyone, any, any students who are also doing uh, a degree in MBA in Finance, uh, these, any of these courses will be a suitable course for you. So if you have been working in HR industry, um, if you have been working as an HR manager or uh, if you have been working as an HR assistant, then I would recommend any of these doing any of these courses uh, to upskill yourself and move on to the um, and move on to your career. Uh, if you have used any other software for HR um, for management of HR, uh, then also it is a good idea to learn SAP. Uh, SAP HR courses as well, so you can enhance your skills. So under SAP, um, under SAP, let's discuss what are the different courses available in human resources. So SAP HCM, SAP HCM payroll, UK payroll, and uh, similarly, you, we have payroll for different countries within SAP. So you can learn your country specific payroll, such as maybe SAP US payroll or 
Saudi Arabia payroll or India payroll. Um, SAP success factors employee central. Uh, these uh, success factors success factor is the newest module, and this is a cloud based. So we have many courses under um, under success factors and such as SAP success factors employee central. Uh, performance and goal management, recruitment management, learning management system, employee central, uh, payroll, um, onboarding, variable pay and compensation. If, if your experience is within sales and marketing, if you have been working in retail, uh, like Tesco, Sainsbury's or so on, then I would recommend uh, doing sales and distribution, CRM, Hybris, S4HANA sales. SAP, uh, so uh, of course, uh, there are courses within SAP which are specifically suitable for anyone who has a technical background. So that means they have studied in their uh, education, uh, the uh, computer science. Uh, so they know basics of coding and programming languages because these are the prerequisites of doing any SAP technical course. Um, so the technical courses are SAP ABAP, basis business objects business warehouse bw4 hana beyond bw1 hana hana development hana admin abap on hana s4 hana admin sap solman and sap cloud platform integration so any students studying in the university uh, in computer science uh, they may they can do this course and um, they can become job ready for their interviews in the upcoming future. And also, um, anyone uh, anyone working in some other uh, any any other industry, and they are you they are well aware of the programming and coding, then they can go for these courses. Thank you.